Tim Peters and Money Talk here back at you with another video. And now I'm closer to 600 subscribers than I am to 500, so I got like 551 subscribers now. So if possible, I'd love to get 600 subscribers by next Friday, which is the 11th. Because if I get 600 subscribers by then, I'll probably do a 12 hour ship on Veteran Day Out. I might do it, the full 12 hour ship. Whether we got or next week, I'm like I'm like off like the whole week. So if I'm having to hit 600 subscribers sometime within that week, then I'll probably take one day and just do a 12 hour ship. I'm kind of curious how much I would actually make if I did a full 12 hour ship with Uber Eats. And I'm only gonna do Uber Eats when I do this challenge. Speaking of Uber Eats, I tried selling out. I tried the alcohol delivery. And let me tell you something, I ain't like it. So I, I said, you know, I'm going to give it a chance. If I like it, I'll keep it on. Because I figured maybe I'll make some more money if I deliver for alcohol also. So on Friday, I had like one alcohol delivery. I tried it out. And... For some reason, my, the scanner I was using on my phone, it didn't work. I don't know if it was a phone problem, the app, or if it was just the ID that couldn't be scanned. Because, you know, sometimes IDs are old. So I had to type it in manually, which took a while. Then the next day, which was Saturday, I did another... At call delivery. Actually, it, it kind of slide on because I was doing uh, stuff for the order. One thing about Uber Eats, sometimes you think you're going to one place, and then when you click on it, you realize it's more than one place. So I ended up delivering two customers when I did this route. And one of the customers, they wanted alcohol. So it wasn't a big deal. I gave them alcohol. I went down there. Again, I was having problems scanning the card. And I had to type it in manually. And it took a while for me to type it in. <laughs> I made a mistake. <coughs> he made a mistake with the expiration. Had to retype it in. So then that's when I realized, you know what? I don't think I like that. These alcohol deliveries because it tastes so long. And also, you can't deliver alcohol to them when they're like, if they don't, they don't have an ID, then you can't deliver the alcohol to them. You gotta take that, you gotta take alcohol back to the store. I believe they do pay you for that. I really hope they do. I would suck if I didn't get paid extra for that. Also, you're probably not gonna get that tip from the customer if you're if you don't get them the alcohol. <laughs> I know some of these customers they might even try to give you an extra tip. These underage customers that are like under twenty one. Some of them might actually try to give you like a extra tip just just to like calm you. But you're still gonna have to type in the ID number. The, the numbers for the ID like date of birth. You're still gonna have to type that in. So if they don't have an ID to give you, you gotta hit the road. <laughs> and there's something else that they have on there. They say they look like they're drunk, then you can't deliver alcohol to them. So that's a tricky one right there. And this is another reason I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I decided not to do this because if they're looking drunk, I'd be like, okay, I can't get that alcohol. They might get aggressive and try to fight me. I, I do not want to fight anybody. I really don't. I, I want to believe that I left that foolishness in middle school. <laughs> A grown man fighting. <laughs> it's just not pretty. So that is another reason I, I decided not to do it. Because they look drunk, I'm not supposed to get them alcohol. But they put out like a $100 bill. That is just tempting. 
guys. If they was like really drunk, they put out a hundred dollar tip. That would be really tempting. It'd be tempting for them. I might actually give it to them. <laughs> so that's another reason I say not do it. You know what Mr. Miyagi said? The best defense is not to be there in the first place. So it's the same thing with Sam. I know this is this is not my Christian channel, but I'm just gonna talk about it just for a sec. The best way to avoid sin is not put yourself in a situation that you're going to sin. So I'm just not gonna put myself in that situation. Cause if they gave me a hundred dollar bill, I honestly think I would take it. Not when they're underage. Of course, now I wouldn't give them that call when they're in age. But they look drunk. I was giving them that call and they had a $100 bill to give me. I think I might actually take it, so that's another reason I'm not going to do it. But, but the main reason, after doing those two deliveries with the alcohol, I didn't like having to type all the numbers in manually. You're supposed to scan it, but both times my scanner did not work. At first, I thought maybe the first time the ID just wasn't good. But then after the second time, like, I'm not going to keep doing this. So I was in my phone trying to, like, cancel these alcohol deliveries. I, I was even on YouTube trying to find out how to get out of this alcohol. I ended up having to call the people because what they were showing me online, I... The app on my phone was like completely different. But of course, the video was like a year old, so you know, sometimes they change websites, they change the apps. Cause you're supposed to like be able to go to like, according to what I was looking at, you're supposed to be able to go to like the help. Then there's like another option, which wasn't all my option. So I ended up calling and they took care of it. They took that alcohol delivery off. At least I hope they did. So next time I do Uber Eats, I better not get any alcohol offers. <laughs> so I didn't like doing alcohol deliveries, guys. I really didn't. I hated typing all those numbers. And of course, <laughs> some people might get frustrated. It's taking too long for me to like type in the numbers. So I'm like, it's just not for me. Let somebody else do it. I'm not that desperate. And I did my first Target order. They just wanted me to, it was on Saturday, I did my first Target order. I didn't realize Uber Eats did shop at Target. So it's not like Walmart where you just park in a parking lot and you hang the groceries. Maybe one day they'll start doing that, but right now, you have to go inside. So I got like, it was like six items. It was like six ice cream I was supposed to get. But I got four of the six. I even put in the app that the item wasn't available. So originally I was supposed to get like $14 for it. But for the first time, my tip went down. Well, I think they was probably mad that they didn't get their ice cream. Those two ice creams missing. I was hoping they would be understand though that there wasn't any available. Still gave me, they still reduced my tip. I think they reduced it down to like $11. I was supposed to get $14. But it's all good. I mean, I only drove, it was only like a two mile drive, which is why I took it to begin with two, $14 for two. That's like seven, $7 per mile. But of course, after I reduced down to 11, it's like five fifty dollars per mile. <laughs> I mean, there's a part of me I want to go back to that house and trash it, but I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it. I mean, I kind of understand the frustration of them not getting their full order. I can understand it. So I can't have too much hate for them. But I did let them know that it was out of stock. I mean, I have no control over an item that's not in stock. So punishing me by giving me like a lower tip. I mean, it's not really justified, <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, on their part, it's kind of justified since they didn't get their full order. But for me, not really, because I didn't really do anything 
I'm just there to get them what's available, and it wasn't available, so I let them know it wasn't available. And they never, they never did respond. I sent them like the test and all that. They didn't respond at all. Never respond. But it's all good. Will I do another Target order? I don't know. Reason I pick Uber Eats over Instacart because I'm always worried, worried that it's going to take me a while to find the aisles when I'm not going to be able to find the aisles. I don't want to have to keep having to like go to like the let me see to like the manager or, or somebody at the store. I want to have I don't want to have to keep going to them. Ask them where the item is. They have, if they have an item available, so that's one of the reasons I chose Uber Eats because they just deal with the food. At least I thought it was just the food, but they do shopping too. Because I did some shopping with Win Dixie, so I did try Win Dixie out. I tried Walgreens. I think Walgreens. I gave them like they there was like an item missing, but I. I asked them if it was all right if I replace it with a similar item, and they were they were all right with it. It was some type of tea, I think it was. So Wall Green was like first time I did the shopping inside. Second time was when Dixie, and now it's Target. I mean, I shop at, and while I was in Target, I got my ten ten points. From shot kick while I was in Target. <laughs> so it worked out. So that is basically it for the video. I just want to talk about the alcohol delivery, how I tried it out, how I didn't like it, and I want to talk about the Target experiment. It was like my first time my tip went down. Because usually my tip either stays the same after order or it goes up. I mean, they like my service, it will go up. It will actually go up. But this was the first time it ever went down. So, you like my video, give me a thumb up. And if you want to see me do a 12 hour Uber Eats ship, subscribe to my channel because I just need 49 more subscribers to hit that 600. Then I'm going to do it. See you in the next video.